My name is Professor Jem Hebden. I am a professor of biomedical optics and I'm also head of the Department of Medical Physics and Bioengineering here at UCL. My research interest is the development of optical imaging techniques for studying blood flow and blood oxygenation in the human brain. The PhD projects that we're offering concern two particular technologies, one known as optical topography, which involves mapping the changes in blood volume and blood oxygenation on the surface of the brain, and another more, more ambitious approach known as optical tomography, which involves a generation of a three-dimensional image of the entire infant head, which describes the distribution of blood volume and the blood oxygenation throughout the entire head. Hello, I'm Dr Judith Meek. I'm a consultant on the neonatal unit at University College London Hospital. And I've been interested for a long time in using optical techniques to help and diagnose babies born either at term or prematurely who are at risk of having brain damage. So this project would take place in two similar neonatal units, both level three units, one in London and one in Cambridge. And we've co-operated with research projects for a long time and we work very closely together. They're both state-of-the-art units and my colleague Dr Austin works in Cambridge. My name's Dr Toppen Austin. I'm a consultant neonatologist at the Rosie Hospital in Cambridge and I have a long-standing relationship with the uh, Biomedical Optics Laboratory here at University College London and we have a formal collaborative group called Neolab. Uh, the clinical side is based in the Evelyn Perinatal Imaging Centre at the Rosie Hospital in Cambridge, which is the state-of-the-art functional brain imaging laboratory uh, housing uh, optical um, and EEG uh, systems which can be used in this project. Um, so we have a number of um, projects ongoing, including um, studying seizures in newborn infants and looking at the relationship between the electrical activity and the blood flow response in sick newborn infants who have seizures. We have a number of students who've been working across both Cambridge and UCL um, successfully um, developing new technologies to study vulnerable infants in the first few days of life.